so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Nice jab. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Nice, low single takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. And now some separation. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Nice transition. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Oh, it's getting deep. putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Nurmagomedov's in half guard. Well, Khabib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really having his way on the ground. And John, I think that points to the fight IQ, knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, he bails on the submission now. He flattens him out. This could be the beginning of the end. All right, feet on the hips here. Nermago Medov's right back to the full mount here. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Big right hook there by the champ. Making all these shots count. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Mm, 
That was nice. Now it's his mouth. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Khabib's in half guard now. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position on real to see. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up, the top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. Just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians got to like what he sees. I mean, oh, what do we got here? It looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, nice. Nice straight punch there. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet He's going to secure. I'll take your action. OK. Finds his range with the jab. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Well, we thought that's how it might play out. And there it is, right on cue. Three minutes to go in round two. Beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Great punch. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Khabib's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, that's very deep now. Elbow landed now from the bottom by Nermago Medov. Oh, that is gonna do it. That's gotta be it. Oh, it looks like he's safe now. Wow, that's crazy, because generally when you're that deep into a triangle, you do not escape, but he remained calm, and he found a way to get out and be safe again. Great job. Defensively. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Well, he's trying to stay active here in the clinch, and that'll work when it's a nice punch there. Opponent's trying to rest, he's trying to fight. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. 
gets to the single collar tie. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Lands a quick jab. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John's papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your room for submission. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes fight. as the fight progresses. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Fighters back to their feet here. Touched him with the strike there. What a beautiful leg kick that landed. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to it. Nermanko Medov's in half goal. Mm, nice. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Nice single. trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. And he's out again. It's work. Come on, let's stand you up. It's work. 
takes his back out. Oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another strike gets through from the top position. Side control now. Now he's going full mount. Oh. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Big shot to the head. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Under a minute to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nice guillotine now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Big ground and pound. decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And he continues to work the body here. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And that one certainly found the target. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice job by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job oh, of getting the takedown oh. when you need. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the fight. opponent now. He's Ready. afraid to pull the trigger Good. because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shot. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. What a kick, that one landed. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown, and I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up, but I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first How place? How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. You've got to change something. And for the offensive wrestler, continue down the path. Right. It's working. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. There it is, now he's on the up. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot be, just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, he's got his back. Creative. 
Two minutes have gone by. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Oh, it's getting very, very deep. There's the time. result here tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon all right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Ebola. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one here tonight, and when you get to the ground with this...